Hello and welcome. Let's dive into a staggering fact about our digital world. Did you know that every single day, 4.9 quintillion byte of data zoom across network cables globally? Just to put that in perspective, that's like streaming 212 million HD movies all at the same time. Imagine the incredible scale of information we are sharing every second, emails, social media posts, business transactions, scientific data, all moving across the world at lightning speed. This is the age of information, and the numbers remind us just how deeply connected we've become. Fascinating, isn't it? Today, let's dive into the hidden network that keeps our world ticking, network cabling and the devices behind it. Picture this, every connection, every message, every byte of data we send or receive depends on these systems, yet they're almost invisible to us. We'll uncover what makes network cabling so vital, from the basics of how it all works to the different types of cables and how each one has a unique role in our digital infrastructure. Next, we'll look at the small but essential considerations for setting up this cabling, details that can make or break a network's performance. Network cabling isn't just wires, it's the unsung backbone of our digital world, enabling everything from seamless video calls to massive data transfers. And let's not forget the devices that keep it all running smoothly. We'll talk about repeaters that amplify signals to reach farther distances, switches that direct data flow within networks, and routers that keep us connected globally. Each plays a critical part in making sure our devices connect with each other and with the world. In the end, you'll see just how this intricate web of cables and devices makes modern connectivity possible, powering our lives every second of the day. Stay with us as we break down the magic behind the scenes. Have you ever wondered what's really going on inside your walls? Network cables, often hidden out of sight, are quietly working to keep us connected to the internet, manage our smart home devices, and enable seamless communication at work. Although we often take them for granted, these cables are the foundation of modern connectivity, powering everything from video calls to online gaming, and much more. Understanding how they work isn't just for tech experts, it's important for anyone relying on a stable, high-speed connection. Network cables are critical for high-speed, secure data transfer, and yet many people assume that Wi-Fi is just as effective for all users. However, Wi-Fi and network cables serve different purposes and have unique strengths. Network cables typically offer faster speeds, greater stability, and enhanced security compared to Wi-Fi. Misunderstanding these differences can lead to avoidable connectivity issues, especially in environments that demand high-speed, reliable connections. With network cabling, there's more than meets the eye. Let's dive into the role these cables play and debunk some myths about wired and wireless connectivity. Even in an age dominated by wireless networks, physical cabling remains the backbone for many critical applications. Think about it, when it comes to connecting devices that need stable, interference-free links or supporting high-speed data transfers between core systems, wired connections are indispensable. And here's the interesting part, cabling isn't one-size-fits-all. There's Unshielded Twisted Pair UTP, widely used for basic connections, coaxial cables known for durability and reduced signal loss, and the Game Changer Optical Fiber, which carries data at lightning speed over long distances. Each type plays a unique role, supporting a range of applications that require the stability and reliability only physical cabling can provide. So, while wireless might rule the consumer space, physical cabling is the unsung hero powering many essential networks. Let's break down the fascinating world of network cabling and look at the key players, each with its own strengths and quirks. One unshielded twisted pair, UTP-UTP cables are the workhorses of networking, graded by speed and how well they handle signal loss or attenuation. You've likely heard of CAT5e, CAT6, and CAT7, each level up offering faster speeds and better reliability. UTP is versatile and cost-effective, but there's a catch. Without extra shielding, it's more prone to interference from nearby electronic devices. It's popular, but not without its challenges. 2. Coaxial Cable Coaxial is the sturdy cable you'll find in many homes, often connecting TVS or broadband networks. Its standout feature? 
stability over long distances, holding onto signal quality where others may fade. This makes it a favorite for internet providers, but its bulkier size can be a limitation in tight network spaces. 3. Optical Fiber Now, for the star of high-speed connections, optical fiber. Think of it as the highway for data, using light to send information at incredible speeds across vast distances. Perfect for high-speed links and internet work connections, fiber offers unmatched bandwidth and interference-free performance. But here's the flip side, fiber optics are costly and delicate, needing specialized handling and installation. Each of these cables plays a distinct role in shaping our digital landscape. From budget-friendly UTP to durable coaxial and cutting-edge fiber, they're the unsung heroes behind our seamless connectivity. So, while wireless might feel like the future, it's these physical connections that are truly holding it all together. Did you know? Improper cabling management could be the hidden culprit behind up to 30% of network downtime. Yes, something as simple as disorganized cables can lead to expensive disruptions. Let's dive into the key reasons why good cabling practices are essential and what they could be saving you from. Considerations for cabling 1. Risk of equipment damage Picture this, cables tangled, overheating, even causing power surges. Poorly managed cabling doesn't just look messy, it can lead to real damage, frying equipment and racking up repair costs. In the long run, organized cabling can protect your devices and your budget. 2. Operational inefficiencies Now, imagine troubleshooting in a jungle of cables, hunting for a single faulty connection. Messy cabling makes quick fixes almost impossible, dragging out repairs and draining productivity. Clear, structured cabling isn't just tidier, it's the backbone of efficient operations. 3. Safety hazards Here's a surprising fact, tangled cables aren't just annoying, they're dangerous. They increase the risk of tripping accidents and, even worse, could trigger fires. Organized cabling is about more than just order, it's a fundamental part of workplace safety. 4. Network performance issues The wrong cables or improper setups don't just slow down data, they can bog down your entire workflow. Using the right cables in the right way is essential for maintaining the speed and signal quality your network relies on. 5. Costly downtime Finally, let's talk downtime. Cable failures can bring everything to a halt, leading to lost productivity and a spike in operational costs. A little extra effort in managing your cabling could save you from major disruptions. So, good cabling practices aren't just about aesthetics, they're a powerful tool for ensuring a safe, efficient, and reliable network. In the world of technology, even the smallest details can make a big difference. When it comes to network cabling, it's about more than just plugging in devices. It's about building a stable, secure, and efficient network that stands the test of time. Poor cabling can lead to disruptions, safety hazards, and costly repairs. So, what does effective cabling management look like? Let's dive into the essentials. Considerations for cabling, managing risks. 1. Physical Security Step 1. Make sure your cables are secure from tampering or accidental damage. Exposed or loosely managed cables are an open invitation to disruption, wear, and external interference. Properly secured cables aren't just safer, they also ensure that your network stays uninterrupted. 2. Length of cable runs. Every cable has its limits. For example, CAT 5E cables are designed to work effectively up to 100 meters. Going beyond that range, you risk signal loss and performance dips. Following the recommended lengths may seem like a small detail, but it makes a big difference in network reliability. 3. Interference Protection In high interference zones, think about areas near heavy machinery or electronics, shielding is essential. Without it, radio frequency interference RFI, can degrade signals, leading to data loss and connectivity issues. Shielded cables protect data flow, keeping connections strong and interference-free. 4. Cabling Standards And finally, standards matter. Not all cables are created equal, and using outdated ones, say, 
Cat 3 instead of Cat 5e or Cat 6 can slow down your network. Following standards not only boosts performance but also keeps your network ready for future upgrades. In the end, managing cabling risks is about being proactive. Securing, protecting, and following standards builds a reliable network, one that keeps your operations running smoothly, day in and day out. Cabling isn't just a set of wires hidden away in walls and ceilings, it's the foundation of our digital infrastructure. This physical layer, known as Layer 1, is what makes all network connections possible. It's like the roots of a tree, without strong roots, the tree can't grow tall or withstand storms. And the same goes for networks. So, what does good cabling management look like? First, it requires proper documentation. Every cable should be mapped and recorded, so troubleshooting is smooth and efficient, without guesswork. Then, there's the type of cable itself. In areas with air circulation, plenum rated cable is essential because it's made to resist fire hazards, a crucial safety measure in office buildings and public spaces. And finally, there's the matter of terminations. Poorly terminated cables, loose connections, they might seem like small details, but they can lead to frustrating connectivity issues and dropped connections. Proper terminations keep the network stable and reliable. In essence, cabling as infrastructure isn't just about setting up wires. It's about building a strong, safe, and resilient foundation for the entire network to operate smoothly. And when done right, it's the quiet hero keeping everything connected. Did you know that a single repeater can double the reach of a network signal? Yes, repeaters are like power boosters for weak signals, allowing data to travel longer distances across cable or wireless networks. By regenerating attenuated signals and pushing them further along, repeaters extend a network's range, making them essential for larger spaces or areas with signal obstructions. Now, here's the interesting part, repeater placement isn't a one-size-fits-all. It depends on the type of cabling and the environment where it's installed. Positioning a repeater correctly can make all the difference between smooth signal flow and frustrating connectivity issues. But here's a word of caution, if a repeater is placed improperly, it can lead to signal errors or, even worse, open the network to unauthorized access. So, while repeaters are vital for expanding a network's reach, they come with responsibilities, precise placement and security measures are key to maximizing their benefits. Building on our network infrastructure, let's talk about switches, the multitaskers of the digital world. If cabling is the foundation, switches are the smart connectors, ensuring data gets where it needs to go. But they're not just about forwarding information, they bring advanced capabilities and a few risks worth noting. 1. Layer Functions Switches aren't limited to one job. They operate on multiple layers, layer 2, layer 3, and even layers 4 and 7. At layer 2, they handle basic packet forwarding, the bread and butter of network traffic. Move up to layer 3, and switches add routing to their skill set. Go even higher to layers 4 and 7, and they can take on complex tasks like load balancing, making sure data is evenly distributed across devices. Each layer has a purpose, allowing switches to be customized for specific network needs. 2. Network Segmentation Another key role is network segmentation. Think of it as creating dedicated traffic lanes for different types of data. By isolating traffic flows, switches help reduce congestion and boost security, keeping critical systems separate from everyday internet traffic. It's a way to make sure that sensitive data isn't crossing paths with general usage, minimizing unnecessary exposure. Three areas of concern. But, like any essential network device, switches have their risks. Physical security is crucial, an exposed or unsecured switch can be tampered with or damaged. Then, there's the need for proper configuration, a misconfigured switch can lead to sluggish performance or even vulnerabilities. Device failures are another potential issue, as a faulty switch can bring down connected parts of the network. And finally, there's the threat of protocol attacks, where attackers exploit network protocols to target switches. In short, switches are the workhorses of network management, making data flow seamless, isolating traffic, 
and bringing flexibility across layers. But to unlock their full potential, they need secure placement, careful configuration, and regular monitoring. Switches may be behind the scenes, but they're key players in keeping everything connected and secure. Moving from switches, let's dive into the routers, the navigators and gatekeepers of our networks. If switches keep traffic flowing smoothly within a single network, routers take charge of moving data between different networks, making sure it reaches its destination, no matter how far it has to travel. One primary function. Routers play a vital role in connecting multiple networks and directing data where it needs to go. They read the destination IP address of each data packet and use routing tables to forward it along the best path. Think of routers as digital traffic controllers, ensuring data gets exactly where it needs to be, whether it's across the office or across the globe. 2. Traffic Management Efficient traffic management is where routers shine. They prioritize data with quality of service, QoS, and class of service, COS, protocols, meaning high-priority tasks like video calls or essential data transfers can get fast-tracked, while less important data takes a backseat. It's a smart way to keep things running smoothly, especially when network demand is high. 3. A blocking traffic Routers can also act as a line of defense, blocking unwanted traffic. They're configured to filter data based on IP header details, allowing only approved data to pass through. It's like having a security guard at the network's entry point, deciding who's allowed in and who's kept out. 4. Areas of Concern But routers, as powerful as they are, also come with vulnerabilities. Improper configuration can lead to inefficient routing or open up security holes, while software bugs and unpatched systems make routers easy targets for cyber attacks. Physical security is also a must. An unprotected router could be tampered with, causing disruptions across the entire network. Routers are truly the navigators of network traffic, keeping everything moving and securing the flow of data across boundaries. With the right setup and protection, routers not only connect us but also help keep our networks secure and efficient. So, as we wrap this up, let's step back and see the big picture. The world of cabling and networking devices isn't just about wires, switches, or routers, it's about building the backbone of our digital lives. From the simplest UTP cable to the most complex routers, each piece plays a vital role in creating a network that's fast, secure, and reliable. But here's the takeaway. It's not enough to just connect everything. Proper planning, careful implementation, and solid risk management are crucial. When we get these elements right, we are not just avoiding costly disruptions, we are building a network that performs at its best, day in and day out. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the tech that keeps our world connected. Thank you for tuning in, and stay connected with us.